guys, welcome back to the channel. Look who's back, not just me this week. <laughs> right, it's the uh, the long awaited Scotland trip. It's our first proper road trip in the motorhome. Only a week though. Only a week. Yeah, it's half term, so obviously Siska's off. So we're just going to explore a bit of Scotland. Not so much of a plan, really, is there? No. A rough plan. A rough plan. Some rough ideas of where we're going to where we're going to where we're going to end up. Uh, basically, we left at lunchtime. By the time we loaded up the van this morning, got up here about what five o'clock? No, after that. Was it half past five? Half past five-ish, I think. About five and a half hours. We did have a couple of stops en route. Um, so the plan, obviously, now we've had the uh, the lithium upgrade and the solar panel and the inverter fitted, is to basically test the capabilities of that whilst we're out and about. Um, and also, what we're going to do is, wherever we park up, what we're going to do is, um, whatever that costs us, we're going to go online and we're going to find the nearest campsite to us. And we're going to compare the two prices and then we're just going to basically, Cisco's already written down, uh, our first park up cost and we've looked up the nearest campsite and we've figured out how much we've saved by not going to that campsite so what we'll do is uh, at the end of this trip we'll uh, give you a breakdown of exactly how much we've saved over the course of the week by having the lithium installed and not having to use campsites um, give you guys an idea of what sort of savings you can make by having that sort of uh, kit installed in the van so yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, first park up of the night is Falkirk at the Kelpies. Uh, Ten quid a night. Relatively quiet little uh, car park. Uh, I think there's a dozen vans in the in the car park at the moment that are stopping overnight. Um, we've already. Um, I'll, it'll be in the video, but we've we've had a walk down to the um, the Kelpies and had a look down there, uh, and a little bit later on when it gets dark which will probably be around about 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to take a look, walk down and uh, see it at night, which is one of the reasons we came here. Um, and then tomorrow morning, we're going to go up, because the, when we got here, the gift shop was closed, so we want to go and have a look in there tomorrow morning. Um, you've got to be off the car park by 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock in the morning, you've got to be off the car park by, so that's not too bad. We've got plenty of time tomorrow morning, and then we're going to see where we end up tomorrow. Not, sh not quite sure where we're going. I think we're going to go and see the Falkirk wheel tomorrow morning. And then off to Stirling. And then possibly off to Stirling. Uh, find somewhere to park up there. Have a mooch round. And then we may move a little bit further north. For the evening. Mm -hmm. Not sure where yet. But like I said, we're going to wing this one. See where we end up. So... Um, I think that's about it for now. Uh, what we'll do is, wherever we go out and about, we'll we'll take the camera with us, uh, and we'll show you guys where we go and where we end up. So we'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, time to get some tea on. We've got uh, got the air fry going at the moment. Uh, the inverter and the battery are coping with it quite well. I reckon cooking tea tonight will take about thirty percent of the battery power. But. It's going to be a lovely sunny day tomorrow and by the time we've driven somewhere and got the sun that will charge it back up again so quite happy with that uh, fish chips and peas for tea tonight out the air fryer shall have that and then uh, kick back and relax for an hour or so and then take a walk down to the kelpies and get some shots of them lit up at night taking a walk down now it's uh half past ten, quarter past half past ten just to see this at night and it's uh, quite impressive if I'm honest in fact very impressive Definitely worth a visit at night, this. Definitely worth a visit at night. Ooh, there's a bridge over there. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. It 
do have to watch your step here. Yeah, watch, watch what I'm doing while trying to record. <laughs> yeah, never mind about recording, watch what you're doing. Yeah. I know I bought plenty of spare clothes, but I don't really yeah, want to have to drip dry in the I, shower. I, I, I ain't jumping in after you. You're on your own there. All right then. Right, morning folks, uh, slight change of plans this morning. We were up relatively early, so we're gonna move on from here. Um, Cause there's a few things we wanna see and possibly wanna get a little bit further north this morning or this afternoon uh, to find a park up, up there somewhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head off away from the Kelpies, head on to our next destination, have a look around there. And then we're going to go into Stirling, have a mooch around there, and then see where that takes us for the rest of the day. So we will catch you at the next destination. Right, back again, it's guys. Impressive. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is quite impressive. Yeah, we've rocked up at our next destination. Uh, we just wanted to come and see this. And I don't think we're going to stop here long because we've seen it. <laughs> we're at the Falkirk Wheel, guys. <clears throat> quite a impressive bit of engineering it was recommended to us i think my uncle said come and have a look at it so we'll have a look at it and then we're going to go on to sterling i think yeah now we'll have to go down there look oh yeah well, you can go down that way all right okay <coughs> yeah not too bad yeah, this apparently is another park up here at the Falkirk Wheel. 15 quid a night. I believe there's an LSAM point. There is fresh water because I've just filled our water bottle up for the for the brews. And there's about 10 vans here. So it's not too bad. So I'll just spin the camera around, guys. And that is the Falkirk Wheel. Yeah, we'll just have a mooch down here and then uh, head back mm -hmm. and then go and find somewhere to park in Stirling before it gets too busy, I think. Yeah. 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 That's the thing, you could probably stand around here all day. And until a boat comes along, you ain't going to see it in operation. No. So, and I'm not, I'm not going to sit around here all day just to watch it go round once. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right then, guys. We're going to mooch around here. Uh, like I said, there isn't really that much here to see. The, the wheels there. There's a few canal boats down there. Rough Castle Roman Ford. Oh. A Roman fort up the road as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far it is, it doesn't say. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Right, so we'll catch you guys in Stirling. Hey right, guys, we've arrived in Stirling, found a nice little park up. Uh, what's the name of this one, darling, on Park for Night? Linden Avenue. Linden Avenue. Uh, looking at its parking charges is two pound all day but free on Sundays and it's Sunday so it's free so what we're gonna do is gonna have a quick brew and then we're gonna walk into town according to park for night it's a five minute walk into town and a maximum of 20 minutes to get to Stirling Castle so we'll take a walk into town uh, and uh, show you around hi right, guys this is our park up for the after for the day Basically, a car park. See the parking charges sign over there, £2 all day. But it's only Monday to Saturday. 
Now we're parked across two bays, so if it had been a day where I had to pay, I'd have paid for two bays. So that's not a problem. And out through the entrance there, and it's a five minute walk into town. So perfect. So what we found guys in the Thistles shopping center. Yes. Um, it's part of the old walls of Stirling. Yes, it's close to M&S. Yeah, we are near to M&S in the shopping centre. And it's free to go in. Bit of a steep, spirally scare staircase to get down. Ooh. And, uh, and this is all underneath a shopping centre in the middle of Stirling and it's free to come and have a look at it's called the Bastion yes love Bastion yes yes oh and I've got a walk well that's what we wanted to do wasn't it although it's like you go I don't know where number two is oh there 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 <laughs> that does not seem like a very, um, you know. No, um, but no. I am going to make a photo of it for reference later on. Yes. Yeah, because then we can walk to where we're going to, which is number four, which is the castle. Yeah. Isn't it? But do you, do you want to go right, like, this way round? Yeah, because you wanted to go, there's a couple of bits that you wanted oh, yeah, to go yeah, to yeah. in here, Are wasn't there? Are you bothered about the line of the Burr Wall? No, not really. Um, there were a couple of bits that you wanted to go to. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's have a look. Well, the Tollbooth, Old Town Jail, yeah. Castle, I'm not bothered about the Art Gallery, the Carons Hospital, Hospital yeah. the Holyrood Holy Church. Church, that one. I can't remember what that was. Meerkat Cross. Yeah. Yeah, they're all in that sort of yeah. grouped oh, yeah, area yeah, yeah. there, so it's perfect. Yeah, I hadn't seen that one in, in the book. The Bird Gate, which is number eight, which is literally yeah, just here. outside here. So we'll catch that on the way back. Yeah, we'll get that on the way yeah. back, yeah. So absolutely fine, yeah. That goes forwards. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting town here. You've got lots of history. Oh, yeah. Talking about Stirling and that. The Thieves' Pot. Oh, the, uh, that, that jail that you wanted to see. Yeah. Condemned as the worst jail in Britain. Oh, lovely. Public punishments endured carried out each Tuesday on market day. Duh! Yeah. Well, you get the best audiences then. Yeah. There. Yeah, at the Meerkat Cross in Broad Street. Whippings, brandings and luggings, where wrongdoers' ears would be nailed to a post. Ouch! Not the best way to get a piercing. No. And hangings remained common until the 1840s and everybody was encouraged to attend and witness the consequences of crimes. Could do with bringing that back today. Yeah. But nail a few posts, uh, nail a few ears to a post.
yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely worth a quick visit. It takes two minutes. Just nip down, come into the Thistle Centre. Ooh, let's have a look down here. throw a coin down there. <laughs> so we've uh, walked up a very large hill and we're now at Stirling Castle. Apparently they used this castle in the filming of the old 70s series called it's they used it for the external shots of Colditz Castle. You can kind of see why. Statue of Robert the Bruce. 1314. Long time ago. Church of the Holy Rood, down there in the distance there. And the hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah part of uh, Cowain's Hospital. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what it says, that's what it looks like. Yeah, apparently that church was where James VI was crowned, the infant king. And apparently Mary Queen of Scots worshipped in there as well. so if we need anything plus there's a, a water tap on the, the toilet block that's there as well um, park for night all the, all the bits on park for night say don't use the toilet blocks they're a bit grim but we've got our own so not worried about that so right we're gonna head up there and uh, we'll report back and see what it's like <laughs> 